We're just outside of Zilla, Washington at the Cow Palace. I was expecting a castle, maybe, or at least a few Holsteins with tiaras. The Cow Palace is actually one of Washington's largest dairies. A palace? Well, maybe if you're a cow. I spoke with dairy manager Jeff Boyvin, and he was kind enough to take us on a tour. Well, give me a little bit of history behind the Cow Palace. How long has it been around? The Cow Palace started operating in 1973, and I think they started milking around 1,000 cows. This dairy is a, what's called an open lot concept. Instead of housing all the cows in close confinement barns where they have, they have their own free stalls that they can lay in, it's called a free stall barn. Our cows are housed in open lots and they can roam around these pens and they can go into the shades up here. If your cows are not happy and you're not treating your cows well, yeah. then they won't produce very much milk and they won't take care of you. Mm -hmm. So you take care of your girls, they'll take care of you. That's right, remember that. <laughs> Cows provide a lot of food for us, but what are we feeding them? Their food is a blend. It's called a TMR, a total mixed ration. Yeah. And all their whole day's diet is blended by a, a PhD nutritionist. Oh yeah? And it's blended all up in a big truck and then delivered to the cow. And they'll eat 100 pounds of this a day. Holy moly. So where are we now? We're at the Cow Palace Maternity Barn. All these little babies were born today and we have average of 25 born every day. My goodness. So we have some Angus bulls, they're all purebred Angus, and the reason we have them is if our cows don't become pregnant with the AI conception, then we turn them in with the bulls in the bullpen because we still want them to get pregnant yeah. or they won't produce milk the next year. Tell me the process a little bit. So we have two milking parlors that we segregate all the cows into three to 500 cow pens and they know when it's time to be milked because they want to come in and get milk. Yeah. Then they come in and we milk 100 cows at a time in one parlor and 78 cows at a time in another parlor. Yeah. So right now, they're prepping these cows. They have to disinfect them, wipe them, and they'll attach the machines to them. So they're being milked. What are the different tubes? Okay, this tube right here, uh -huh. it contains the milk. Okay. So picture this, a big vacuum cleaner is sucking all the milk out of that yeah. cow okay. to a point. And then this tube right here has atmospheric air. So to break the vacuum, you have to have atmospheric air, and that makes the milking sensation. How long does it take? 10 minutes from when they first start till when they exit all the way out. We're milking over 7,000 cows, and each cow will give about 75 to 80 pounds of milk per day. So each time they come through the parlor, they give about 25 pounds because we milk them three times a day. Each one of these tanks can hold 15,000 gallons of milk. Whoa. And, That's a lot and, of milk. Yep, and we fill them all up every day. And your milk goes where? Our milk goes all to Dairy Gold, and it's just raw milk, so it comes out of the cow. We just store it for less than 24 hours. A truck comes, picks it up, and takes it to the creamery. Why is Washington such a great place for dairy cows? Washington State has the perfect environment, especially Eastern Washington. The temperature is not too extreme, so the cows really like this environment. Yeah, they're happy. This one, she wants to be on camera. She's trying really hard. <laughs>